We're going vegan, but at what cost? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today, we're going vegan. Uh-huh. That's not your cue. I think she wrote mm. us a letter. Mm. You got all that from a move? No, I got oh, it from the letter. Uh, yes, there's a letter. Dear hair and glasses, Ever since my fiance died in a bungee jumping accident and the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air stole my story, <laughs> I'd forgotten what it felt like to smile until I started dancing with you boys. But to now hear that all those TikToks I've sent you haven't been a waste and that you boys finally decided to go vegan makes me the happiest cow in the world. So thank you, and I love you both. Mm -hmm. Michelle. Thanks for the letter, Michelle. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Mm. Just, you know what, just take it, take it easy. Showing take it easy. Showing a lot of love. All right, all right, all right. T take your, take your spot. We're doing, we're doing the show. It's happening. It, we're live. Well, we're not live, but we're not gonna redo that. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, I'm not vegan. I, I'm not either. Maybe she won't notice. But the question today is, does vegan food get better as it gets more expensive? It's time for Naked Food, Naked Vegan Edition, Naked. Now, vegan meals tend to be pricier wherever you go, but which cruelty-free dishes are worth the cruelty to your wallet? That's the question we're gonna answer today. And to find out, we're stripping each one of them down, meaning no garnishes, no sides, until they're all good and naked, naked. And we're gonna be trying vegan dishes from three different price points. A lot of times we go four, but today it's three. The okay. freezer section of a grocery store, fast casual, and sit-down restaurants. That's as fancy as we're getting today mm -hmm. is the sit-down restaurant. Each round, we're gonna pick our favorite plate, then Stevie's gonna tell us where each food is from and how much it costs so that in the end, we're gonna know just how becoming vegan expensive would be us. Well, yeah, I think I understand. How much it would cost each of us to go vegan. For Michelle! These are vegan black bean burgers. These are vegan black bean burgers. Okay. I, I got nothing against a vegan black bean burger, and this one what? What? is obviously just a patty of mushed up black beans. Well, that's the thing is, I mean, now not, that like there's not any beyond patty. meat and impossible meat w exists, like it's tough to get on board with these black bean burgers. And this is coming from a bean lover. Hmm. It's not that bad though. I mean, I just don't know why you even call it a burger. I think I'm getting more from the other ingredients on the sandwich, especially the tomato. <laughs> well, the, what are those like? What are sprouts. those sprouts? What are the, what are the, sprouts, sprouts you know? What are those exotic, ooh, what is this? It's like. It's red. Oh God, it's a tomato. But the burger itself is also red. What, what is happening? So this is like some sort of red huh. sauce on top oh, I like of. That. This is interesting. I do not like the consistency. Is it beets? It's mushy. There's definitely beets in there, but I kind of like the flavor. Mm. It's like quinoa or something. It's full of other stuff. And then this one is like, y'all, we're gonna get a black bean burger and we're gonna hit a bun and we're gonna call it a day. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be very fancy, but hey, it looks the most like a burger. Hmm. Not bad. I think the burger itself might be the, it is the most burger-like, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Huh. It's beans, green stuff, brown stuff, orange stuff, yellow stuff. It's got some spice to it. I enjoy it the it's most, doing a I bunch, think. It's doing a bunch of heavy lifting, I don't too. want to get ahead of myself, but, huh. Okay, all right. Well, it's that time. You can stab your favorite in three, two, one. Whoop, <laughs> I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's actually, it's, it's a, it's a unit. It's a patty. This almost feels like a spread. This isn't horrible, but it's, 
I mean, okay, okay. Let, well, we're starting things fall. off with a surprise today. I mean, you both seem to know that this is our, our frozen version yeah. uh, of the burger. It's Gardein's Ultimate Black Bean Burger for $1.86. Not bad at all, Gardein. You've done it. And yeah. then uh, the first one on Rhett side is our fast casual vegan joint for ten ninety five. And then our fanciest is our sit down in the middle Cafe Gratitude for eighteen fifty. Oh, oh, that's this a is- place that they... They make you order by saying how you feel, like what you're thankful for or something. Yeah. It's 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 fun until it's not. Yeah, yeah. So it's fun the first time. Gardein, you know, taking take it un 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 what's it called when you when you unseat a higher up, turning, seed? Uh, turning a, turning up, up a Cinderella story. <laughs> Usurping. Usurping. <laughs> These are buffalo cauliflower wings. These are buffalo cauliflower wings. Now, I, I like these. Sometimes I'll do these at like a non-vegan place. Non, that's Indian food. Right, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Now, here we go. This, I mean, I could think that there's chicken in here. That's tasty, man. I do think the key is to not think of it in terms of chicken, but to think of it in terms of... Yeah, chicken. you know that you're getting cauliflower, yeah. But like... Nice flavor profile. Yeah, it's a little bit mushy, but yeah, I mean, come on, You're, it's cauliflower, and I'll, there's a, the breading is pretty nice. On camera, these all look like chicken. Am I right? You're right. But this one, Stevie, you thinking this is chicken? From it your vantage point, it does resemble chicken. It looks like chicken pieces. It looks like orange chicken. But then, from my vantage point, it looks like cauliflower. Uh, I'm sorry, but you didn't flavor these well enough. I'm not even gonna finish that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, it was like they forgot to dip them and they also added something that tastes bad. Wow, that's disappointing. These look like they have something going for them. Orange chicken. It's not supposed to be orange chicken. It's buffalo chicken. And that's why these are incredible. These are right here. They taste good, but they're very mushy inside. There's a clear winner here for the register. They have more of a... Mm-hmm. They have more of a bounce. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I ain't mad at these. I'm thinking about bouncing these later. I ain't mad at these. I'm gonna see how they can bounce when I play my bounce games by myself. I mean, even inside, number one kind of looks like chicken. Even inside, it kind of looks like chicken. Yeah. I don't think that's the point necessarily, though. I, I think it's what you want, though. <laughs> Here <laughs> you we made that go. clear. Well, they call it a freaking chicken wing. Yep. And three, two. What? It's got to be here. Yeah. This is not bad to me. This is a first for this series because, again, you've chosen the frozen version. These are bird's eye buffalo style cauliflower wings for $166. Dang, bird's eye. We're going cheap, y'all. It's going to be easy to go vegan. Yeah. Is it just because we are that unsophisticated? Well, here's the thing the middle plate is from our sit down fancy place, Sage, uh, for $16. I got to say, my experience with sage is similar to your, so I'm feeling very validated right now okay. that you didn't like it. I've had some good meals at Sweet sage. Strange. And listen, I think that those come, if you get those at the restaurant, I think they come with a dipping sauce. Yeah, I think we went sauces across the board. And the last ones Naked. are from our fast casual veggie grill for eight ninety five. I They're not bad. The veggie a, grill's not bad. I'm a fan of veggie grill. I, I like their work. I like what you do. You 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 fooled me many a time. Yes, but you're no bird's eye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we get to this, we want to make a big announcement. Mythical has a brand new official logo. Look at that. It's the new Mythical M that spells the new Mythical word. <laughs> hey. This is it. This is the this is the logo. It's on my arm. It's on my arm, it's on my chest, it's on my legs. What? We are very excited. It's on my chest. No, (laughs) it's way up there. We're very excited for you to start seeing this M everywhere on the earth. Now, naturally, we have created a whole merch collection, like what Rhett said. We got the joggers, we got the hoodie, we got the t-shirts, we got it all. Tell them about why we did this, Rhett. Well, you know, every once in a while you gotta make things up, you gotta change things up, you gotta move into the future, and if you wanna be a part of moving mythical into the future by repping your boys, 
go over to mythical.com and grab some. We got t-shirts, hoodies, joggers, all that, and more to come. But Boom. right now, this is the collection. Mythical, always curious. Yeah, look at that. And these are jackfruit pulled pork sandwiches. These are jackfruit pulled pork sandwiches. Jackfruit, the barbecue of the vegan world. Now, the reason that jackfruit works so well... It's strangy? ...is because if you just saw that and, you know, you were not really looking too closely, you think, there's a pulled pork sandwich. And then you'd eat it. Add a little smoke, add a little slaw, add a little happiness into us all. Hmm. Are you trying to make it better by giving it a theme song? <laughs> it's not great, is it? Pulled pork is such... It's so good, it's so difficult to get that. But... It's not bad because it's such a tough hill to climb. Now this this one's mine's falling all out of the back here. Where is the See if you I mean the meat? it really does have the appearance of of pulled pork. Oh. Uh oh. They hit the flavor a lot better on this one. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's a nice barbecue sauce. I haven't had it doesn't overpower though. I haven't had one this good before. Mmm. Hmm. Somebody did a good job. I wonder if it's the frozen food section. Probably. I kind of hope it is. But I don't think it is. Pretty much just meat here. Because this looks pretty basic. Ew. A little stringy. Mmm. They didn't do a lot to that. I mean, that's not great. You know what I'll say that is? Bad. Um, not good. Wow. Well, Again, a really a impressed real by the clear weather here. One. Yeah, we don't even need a countdown. I mean, no suspense. We're in agreement every involved. time. Involved. Right? Okay, well, surprisingly, you didn't choose the frozen option this time. Ah, uh, you chose the fast casual oh. option from Vegan Joint. Michelle, you're vegan not coming in. You're so bored over there. Look how look at the longing in her hands. You know what? Just, <laughs> just hooves. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, they look like hands to oh, me. Oh, they're hooves. <laughs> Just, just write another letter, Mushel. The sandwich that you did not like was from Sage, our sit-down place. Sa I didn't yeah. say, I didn't, say I didn't like it. It was okay. It's just not as good as that. Yeah. Okay. And the last one is the frozen option from the Jackfruit Company, Barbecue Jackfruit, for two thirty-seven. Yeah, they're so, leading too hard with the jackfruit. Like, yeah. it was so much jackfruit taste, and jackfruit's not that great. I don't, it's, I think it's jack. Fruit? <laughs> what, what was this? Vegan grill? Vogue your veggie uh, grill? No, veggie, veggie joint. Vegan joint. Vegan, vegan joint. joint. <laughs> wow, okay. This is vegan cheese pizza. This is vegan cheese pizza. And this doesn't look great. Yeah. What, what, is, uh, what is vegan cheese made of? Cashews? I think it depends on the vegan cheese. Um, that's not awful. It's not awful. The crust is the problem, actually. The cheese is the best part, I think. Yeah. Um, everything else just kind of is blah. It's just not very crispy, or I don't know what. The sauce is like nothing but tangy. It's like a nothing but tangy. Now this one, this has got to be fancy. There's not even sauce. There's like, you got to have a waiter convince you that this is worth eating. Hmm. A rubbery. This tastes like shrubbery. If AI had to like search the internet to try to figure out how to make pizza. You know how AI just isn't quite up to snuff yet and they're like. <clears throat> yeah, it's strange. They'll like tweet something and you'll be like, oh yeah, you just haven't figured this out yet. That's what's happening here. It's like a, it's just. There's nothing good to say about it. Like the crust is like soft and yeah, but what it's if like you, a tepid crack. But what if you were a waiter that had to convince somebody to eat it? What would you say? Well, of course, we want to respect everyone in the vegan community by making this not only completely vegan, but everyone who ever touched it is completely vegan. Uh, right. And was always vegan from birth. We don't want to make it too good because we don't want to make anyone feel intimidated. All right, this is very accessible to people who have no taste. 
And look at this. Oh my goodness. Y'all got like a bruschetta over here, or I don't even know, French bread pizza. I don't know the terms. It's thick and tall, and it's got a, just a, of sauce we, on top of it. We've got a cheese pizza on the menu. It's thick and tall. It's got a <laughs> of sauce on the top of it. <laughs> You'll love it. I like it when a waiter communicates using fart noises. Not exclusively, but, you know, peppered throughout. And would you like some pepper with that? Whoa! That's good. That's just not acceptable. <clears throat> That's legitimately good. Right, because you should be able to make sauce that tastes good. Even in a vegan environment. That's really good. I mean, tasting things that tasted like... It's robust. Pieces of a tire before it. It's helped, bursting but... with flavor, height, and... Well, I think I know which you're both going to choose. We agreed on every round, right? That's never happened. <laughs> Didn't you listen to the waiter? Remember what the waiter said? You're joking, right? Thank you. All right, well, I think we're going to have to do like a double lap situation uh -oh. because you've chosen the sit-down place and Michelle, come on in. Oh, no. Oh. Well, this is not really sitting, Michelle. No. Oh. No. No. She's really getting comfortable. Okay, the song is up, Michelle. Oh, the song is back. <laughs> there's too much movement happening. Yeah, it's a lot uh. of happening. <laughs> Yeah, there's a. Uh, I think I learned a few too many things about Michelle over the past 30 seconds. Okay. All right. So <laughs> usually it's. Look at the tail. I think that Michelle might be a human man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, right. Really? Yeah, right. Yeah. Ew. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so uh, the it's pizza just the you utter. chose. <laughs> it was just one utter? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is from Nix <laughs> on Beverly for $24. This the, is what? No, the pizza you chose is from Nix on Beverly for $24. That's good. The first place is actually our fast casual Blaze pizza for ten fifteen, And in Blase the middle, pizza. you have uh, our frozen selection American flatbread vegan harvest for yeah, 5 dollars Y'all need to work on everything huh. about that. Yeah, I mean, we thought starting out that we were going to be like super basic, just heat it up and go vegan. But by the end, we gained the culture we needed to blend in yeah, with the vegan community. So the lowest possible total was eleven twenty-eight. The highest possible was seventy-five fifty. Rhett, your perfect well, your perfect meals cost the same because you chose the same every yeah. round. Thirty-eight forty-seven. All right, all right, we can we can afford that. Yeah, that's you know, not a well, bad. That's not a bad couple of meals. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Blair. Thank you. And we're here in Seattle, Washington, trying a vegan-free Oatly chocolate ice cream. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. That boy. Vegan-free, so it's just normal ice cream. Vegan-free? <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. We Click got the you. top link to watch us decide if we'd rather room with vapors or vegans in Good Mythical More. <laughs> and to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. We have a new mythical logo and a new merch collection to go with it. Grab it now at mythical.com.